Hey guys, this is Anime Wolsey here, and today we're going to be doing the eighth part of What of Deku with the Quirk Efficient. There's nothing much else I want to say in the intro, so without further ado, let's get into the video. When Deku meets Mirio in the series, Mirio is quick to get his autograph. Mirio says, You'll be a strong hero in the future, I know it. Deku says, You think you're stronger than me? Mirio says, Maybe. Only time will tell. His face goes into the wall and disappears. Deku says, Well, that's a weird quirk. He shakes his head and walks away. As the big three introduce themselves, Class 1A quietly debate if they could have been able to defeat Prime Deku or the present Deku and Bakugo duo. As an answer, they can beat the Deku and Bakugo duo, but not Prime Deku. When I mean Prime Deku, I'm talking about Deku when he was fighting all for one. There is no way they are beating him since he was literally faster than sound itself. Bakugo thinks, I don't care about all of this, I want to fight them. As Mirio challenges 1A, Bakugo gets hyped up for the battle to come. Now let's get to the battle between 1A and Mirio. Todoroki, Bakugo and Deku quickly make their way in front of 1A. Bakugo stays behind, preparing his double AP bullet. Deku uses 12% of one for all and zooms at Mirio. He throws a punch and cracks the wall, but Mirio literally falls below the ground. As Mirio comes up again, Todoroki blazes the ground with fire and Mirio drops below the ground again. Mirio leaps up as the fire disappears, then Bakugo launches his double AP bullet. The attack goes right through Mirio and causes a large crack into the wall. Bakugo gets mad and runs right at Mirio. Deku tries to kick Mirio, but Mirio goes right through the kick. Mirio says, where's the rest of 1A? Come on! 1A then start running at him and they begin using their super moves and quirks. Mirio is able to dodge a lot of the attacks. Deku leaps over the group and times his punch, so as soon as Mirio returns to normal, he lands his concentrated strike. Mirio slams into the floor and Deku tries to kick him, but he falls into the floor. Deku looks around, but he can't see anything. Mirio leaps up and tries to punch Deku, but he dodges and Bakugo lands his double AP bullet. The attack actually hits Deku, but it causes more damage to Mirio. Mirio spits blood and flies backwards. Deku and Bakugo stand there imposing him, then Mirio stands and says, You two are strong. Deku says, Thank you. Bakugo scoffs and says, We only won because of them. Mirio says, Yes, but you shouldn't be mad. Treat them like your teammates, not like dead weight. Bakugo says, Fine. Shota says, Of course when they won. You can see the influence of them three across the whole class. Shota says, I think we've got another big three coming. For the work hero studies, Deku still gets picked by Night Eye. Everything after that goes pretty similar until the fight between Deku and Night Eye. Well, not really fight, but like the test that Night Eye gives Deku. Deku zooms at him without using any enhancements and tries to throw a punch, but Night Eye is able to dodge flawlessly. Deku tries to kick him, but he dodges that also. Deku lands on the wall, then zooms off of the wall and runs at him. He spins around 360 degrees to kick him, but Night Eye ducks under the super fast kick in perfect time. Deku lands and thinks, how is this even possible? He perfectly dodges every single move as if he knows everything I'm going to do. Deku goes in and throws several punches, which Night High perfectly dodges every single time. Deku smiles and thinks, I'll just crank up the gears. He uses 12% of one for all, then as Night Eye looks into the future, his moves start to be hard to predict and maneuver around. Deku punches him in the stomach and he flies back. Deku then leaps up and slams his head into the wall. He rips the stamp from his hand and Night Eye gets up while grabbing his head. He says, you really are All Might's successor, ow. Deku stops using one for all and Night Eye says, you really are something, kiddo. You were able to go so fast I couldn't even dodge the moves after seeing them. Deku says, thanks, I am really fast, so... Night Eye employs Deku and both Deku and Mirio begin their patrol on the streets. Eri bumps into Deku as usual and Deku turns at super speed. He sees her bandages and thinks, what is going on? Overhaul then comes out and Deku stands. Overhaul apologises for her behaviour and then Deku says, who are you? He says, I'm her father. Deku says, then why did she come running away from you? Deku stands and is willing to take the battle right now because of his heightened powers compared to the cannon. Mirio signals for him to stop and he gives in. He says, fine. Eri runs over to Overhaul and he says, why can I just fight him? Mirio says, I know you're used to fighting kids of the same age as you, but this isn't the same thing. Deku says, what do you mean? I fought all for one. He says, not at this strength. You were weakened by the overexertion of your quirk, yes? Deku says, but he's not as strong as all for one. Mirio says, how do you know that? How do you even know if he's doing anything wrong? Deku says, I guess. Everything goes the same after this with the whole court meeting and Deku still says that he will protect Eri from overhaul. Now let's get to the Shiha Sakai raid. A lot of the raid with the several heroes goes similar if not identical to how the canon presents it so sorry if I started quite late into the raid. Mirio still gets shot by the quirk destroying bullet but a few seconds after he gets shot Deku smashes through the wall. Deku is alone since everyone else isn't fast enough to keep up with him. 
Deku shouts, Mirio! He zooms at super speed, leaving a trail of lime-coloured lightning behind him. He leaps up and for him, everything is moving in slow motion. He lands a kick to Overhaul's head and lands. He says, take Aerie and go. Mirio nods and runs. He turns and says, you. Night and shows then arrive right behind him. Deku zooms forward and kicks Overhaul again. As Overhaul's vision blurs, he stands with a menacing smile. Shin comes from behind him and then they both begin to fuse. Deku zooms in and tries to stop them but gets sent flying up into the wall by the explosion. He slams into the wall but his arm is stuck in there so he just has to stay up. Overhaul propels a huge amount of sharp stones to Deku. Deku leaps from the wall and lands. Deku zooms at him again and their punches clash. Overhaul continues with a barrage of punches. Deku is easily able to dodge the attacks and while smiling he says is that it Overhaul? He kicks Overhaul in the stomach and then swivels around. Overhaul is left completely unable to track his movements and gets kicked in the face. Deku zooms around the building and runs up the walls. Overhaul tries to track him but he is unsuccessful. Overhaul leaps over a pile of rubble then reconstructs it into a shower of sharp rocks. He sends the sharp stones flying down to Shota and Naitai. Naitai is able to dodge each one flawlessly and Shota gets saved by Deku. Shota opens his eyes and overhauls quirk the case. Deku smiles and zooms right at him. He kicks him in the face and overhaul gets sent flying away. Chronostasis, Chronostasis, I don't know how to say it, cuts Shota and pummels him. Overhaul's quirk returns to him and Naitai starts running. Deku says, what? Deku kicks Chronostasis and he flies off of Shota. Deku turns and sees a huge column of rock flying in their direction. He thinks, this is it. My power now won't be able to hold that. I need to turn up the gears. He takes on the rock and his feet dig into the floor. Deku's eyes blaze green and he shouts, combination form, first physical enhancement and 5%. He uses the blazing form and green lightning trickles from his body. He stands and lets go of the rock. In a flash, he grabs Shota and runs. The rock column flies into the wall and creates a huge banging noise. Deku zooms at overhaul at speeds of 300 miles per hour. While zooming at overhaul, he breaks the rock column. He kicks overhaul in the chest and it cracks the rock protecting him. He punches him in the face and cracks his mask. This enrages overhaul and as Deku swiftly advances to him, he gets impaled with a rock spike. Deku spits blood and struggles to move. He breaks the spike with a strike and lands. He rips a chunk of rock from his wound and coughs more blood. Overhaul then punches him in the face and slams him with a boulder of rock. Overhaul while punching him says you are fast but you are too sloppy. He hooks him then swivels and kicks him but Deku is able to dodge. This enrages Overhaul. Spikes spawn from his shin and he stabs into Deku's chest. Deku spits blood and punches him away. Deku kicks him in the gut then a bunch more heroes arrive. Nice high and Shota are within them. Deku stumbles back and his combination form fades. Deku falls back and things go similar to canon after this. Overhaul transforms into his huge form in the air and Deku has Eri on his back. He looks up and smiles. He clenches his fists and the first physical enhancement is put into place. He says, 20% one for all. His body explodes with green lightning and his hair stands on end from the gushes of wind. He looks up and says, I'm back to my prime. His top speed is now something like 800 miles per hour, so yes, he is back in his prime. Also, this means he is the fastest he has ever been. And this is all thanks to Eri on his back. He says, thank you, Eri. He clenches his fist and says, limelight, supersonic smash. He zooms forward and punches the huge overhaul in the middle of the body. He then zooms around, punching parts of the body multiple times until the material decays and splits. Deku leaps up and kicks overhaul down to the floor. Overhaul slowly closes his eyes, but Deku zooms down and grabs his body just before he lands. Deku says, you are fighting a way weaker version of myself. This is my true strength. Overhaul punches him in fury, but Deku literally doesn't even move. He punches Overhaul and he passes out. Overhaul is captured and Deku is praised again for his efforts. Night Eye doesn't die this time and Mirio is left with merely minor injuries. Deku's speed in his base is now 103 miles per hour, which is bringing him close to his prime once again. Deku's body didn't receive any long term damage from the fight against Overhaul because of Eri and he is certainly very thankful for it. So that will conclude the 8th part of what is Deku and the Quirk Efficient. Yes, I am revising for exams, but I realise I still have so much time on my hands, so I'm just going to carry on making videos for you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.